microbes in human welfare part 3 or slide 3 in this sewage treatment and biogas production is discussed now coming to sewage treatment first point is what is sewage sewage is large amount of waste water containing high amount of organic compounds and different types of microbes which are produced daily in towns and cities large portion of sewage contain animal excreta example municipal wastewater now coming to the next question that is how sewage treatment is done how sewage treatment is done sewage treatment is done by following method or following steps sewage treatment is done in sewage treatment plants or sewage is first treated then they are released in natural in bigger bigger water bodies like river seas oceans etc sewage cannot be directly thrown or directly exposed directly added exposed in water bodies because that will cause pollution different types of pollution means the uh, water will be polluted okay now coming to heterotropic just a moment heterotropic microbes that is microbes which utilize organic compound as their main source of energy and they produce um, yes so microbes which uh, produce their energy or they obtain energy so that is microbes which obtain energy from organic compounds so heterotropic microbes are used in stps that is wedge treatment plants for treatment of sewage sewage treatment is done in two stages two main stages that is 
नंबर वन प्राइमरी ट्रीटमेंट नंबर वन प्राइमरी ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट आल एक्सप्लेन प्राइमरी ट्रीटमेंट देन आल एक्सप्लेन द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज सेकेंडरी ट्रीटमेंट दिस इज बेसिकली प्राइमरी ट्रीटमेंट इज बेसिकली physical removal means directly um, basically this step do not involve microbes is physical removal of uh, sewage waste products waste uh, products uh, by sedimentation filtration etc by filtration and sedimentation done in following steps so following are the steps of number 1 in the first step what is done that um, floating debris which is floating which do not settle down floating debris is removed by sequential filtration means uh, the sewage is or the waste water is filtrated uh, um, uh, several times sequence in sequence 1 2 3 4 4 and the um, size of filters also decrease that is a uh, sequential uh, filtration now coming to the next step here only i'll write comma second step the grit that is heavier substance uh, means uh, that is soil and small pebbles settle down at the bottom of the carrier that is sediment that is at the bottom this sediment is called primary sludge and the supernatant is called a fluent which can flow so it's better to say which is on top supernatant means which is on top called a fluent now next step third one sediment that is primary sludge is further treated okay and um, the supernatant which is called supernatant just a moment i'll write it properly superne t superne natant is called f flu and this effluent is further treated in secondary treatment this effluent is further treated by secondary treatment or it's better to say biological treatment now coming to secondary treatment this involve heterotrophic mi microorganisms or microbes as we studied so what is done in secondary treatment steps the effluent is added into large aerobic 
or aerated it's better to say aerated tanks in which uh, continuous mechanical continuous agitation is done mechanically and large amount of microbes called flocks grow as a result now what is flocks i'll write here flocks is means vigorous growth very large amount of growth is observed so flocks is uh, you can say boom kind of a thing growth of bacteria growth of aerobic bacteria aerobic bacteria in association with fungal filament forming large mesh like structure means suddenly large amount of or high amount of growth of bacteria in association with uh, fungi is observed this is called flux now coming to the next point that is flux grow as a result then um these microorganisms of flux flux can consume consume organic compounds at a high uh, rate flocks can consume organic compound at a high rate resulting in reduction of bod resulting in reduction of bod i'll explain bod in next when bod is reduced the amount of pollution also reduces in pollution is pollution reduces in waste water in the next step then this this secondary affluent is allowed to settle down along with flux this settled or this type of sediment this sediment is called activated activated sludge small amount of flux containing present in uh, secondary waste is uh, used as inoculum means source of growth in aerated tanks so uh, it's reused now what happens uh, to the activated sludge 
in the activated sludge or secondary effluent um, in activated or activated sludge is uh, passed or activated sludge is stored in an anaerobic tank stored in an aerobic tank helping in growth of an aerobic an aerobic bacteria as well as fungi as a result as a result several gases like CO2 CO2 that is carbon dioxide methane and H2S that is hydrogen sulfide H2 H2S methane etc are produced these are types of biogas and can be used as fuel of uh, can be used as fuel now what is BOD the last explanation BOD is biological oxygen demand it is the amount of oxygen required by micro organ um, organisms in one liter of waste water or water water to digest or to oxidize oxidize organic compound so higher the BOD higher is the level of waste in water